What's the best way to cull your photos? In this episode, I'm going to share with you my technique that eliminates 90% of my photos that just won't make the cut. I've worked through tens of thousands of photos to develop and perfect this technique of culling my photos. And it all begins in the field. I'm not shy about taking photos. I take a lot. I do this to solve a problem. Many times I would come home from a distant location only to discover that my single shot of each composition ended in a blurry image. That's why I got myself into the habit of taking three photos and completely removing my finger from the shutter button so I force the camera to refocus. That gives me a much higher probability that I'm going to get a nice sharp photo. Once all the images have been loaded up in the Lightroom, press Caps Lock. Now this is going to auto advance each image as we go through them and rate them. First thing I do is zoom in to 100% on the subject of a photo. Now you may need to give it just a few extra seconds to fully load in all of the details. If you're satisfied that the main subject's in focus, press 1. If not, press 0. Either one of these keys, since the caps lock is turned on, will auto advance to the next image. And we go through the entire reel, eliminating those photos that aren't sharp. The next pass I call the composition pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the filter in Lightroom to only those images that are equal to one star. Now I'm going to be looking at the entire image. Starting with the first image in the entire reel, I'm going to press 2 if I like it and 0 if I do not. This is going to allow you to get rid of any bad exposures you may have. Um, you're also going to take a look at the multiple shots you have the same subject and maybe just choose two out of the bunch that you've got. This is going to help to eliminate more photos from the next stage. Now I use AID noise whenever necessary, but AID noise does take some time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set our filter in Lightroom to only those photos who are equal to two stars. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on different parts of each one of the photos. I'm looking in areas where there's gradients, areas where it's a little bit dark, and I'm going to decide if I'm going to let AID noise do its magic. If I do want to commit a photo to working with AID noise, I press 3. If not, I press 4. Now again, with the AID noise, this is going to take some time. So I'm going to set my filter to be at 3 stars. I'm going to select all of those images and I'm going to go ahead and start up denoise. Since this is going to take some time, I'm going to go do something else. Once all of these images have finished going through AI denoise, select all of them, press 4, and then set your filter to be 4 and we'll move on to the next stage. Now we're in the final development phase. Now at this point you've eliminated probably about 80 to 90 percent of your photos and now we can focus our limited time on just that set that has the highest probability of looking great when you're done. Now, that doesn't mean you have to develop every one of these images. You know, while you're going through there you may discover some distracting elements, something you just don't like, just press zero. All right, it's going to take it out of your current set of photos and just keep developing the ones that you're interested in. When you finish your development, press 5. And then we'll move on to the last stage, which is to export your images. Set your filter to 5 stars and go ahead and export. This process significantly saves me time. It eliminates a lot of the time I'm going to be spending here behind the keyboard and gives me more time doing what I enjoy, which is being out in the field. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all next week.